Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today it is almost half past midnight and at 3am I, I was supposed to be asleep at the moment but at 3am I am flying off to Japan or at least I'm heading to the airport to head off to Japan but Code Breaker is finished and I could not sleep so I thought I may as well do the video We got the final rank of 821 so let's go ahead and claim that there we go, enter rewards, the code breaker results, my rank was 821, there's the amount of points I got, 258,712, let's go ahead and claim, and there we are, one Seth freaking Rollins, oh my goodness, we're going to lock that down of course, and there we are, new star discovered, most certainly is, close that off, and let's take a look at him. There he is. Uh, we're going to give him a little bit of an upgrade. So we have a couple of different images that we can use. We've got... He's actually... I think he's had the most special images. Like, there's one there. There's the, the shield version of him. Um, yeah, he's had four of them at least. So there, there is Tyler Black from his Ring of Honor days. And there he is, winning the Money in the Bank. However, the one that I like to give my Seth Rollins is the World title, which I think looks pretty freaking awesome. And let's go ahead and train him up. And to do that, we need to look at our mails. So, of course, we know that Seth freaking Rollins is a right arrow. So, in terms of our right arrows, we have... Dude Love... Sika, we have our Fortify 3 Noam Dar, and then the next one is our Fortify 2 Crucible Hulk Hogan, who is unfortunately going to be a noble sacrifice to Seth freaking Rollins, is going to give him 97 levels. And there he is, he is almost at full level, still has three more levels left to go. But pretty strong, pretty much up there. And at level 97, he is just a tiny bit weaker than our Ilya Dragunov. But of course, uh, he's yet to get his 100 matches. Once he gets 100 matches, I think he will be surpassing big old Kevin Owens. And it's really cool to have the two cards with the titles over their shoulders. As being what will be the two strongest cards, he will surpass big old Kevin Kurt Angle. One thing that I was actually told in the Discord earlier today is that all the Battle Pass cards actually give the effect to your entire deck. So the Angle Slam actually gives plus 34 uh, to toughness and charisma to the entire deck whereas Chad Gable only gives plus power and toughness to himself and it's only the Battle Pass cards that actually do that. So I thought that was really cool. I didn't realise that before. So let's go into draft board. Let's see what we can do. We have seven draft picks, although we only have two spaces, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. It did pick up to level 98. Let's try that again. Then we're going to need to get a bit luckier than those. We're slowly getting there. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get Seth up to level 100. And maybe we can do that through the power of Team Road Glory. So go ahead and claim our Drew McIntyre. Our Pantheon American Nightmare Code Rhodes and our Tempest John Cena. Of course, our team is still currently on Dude Love. And let's try training him with one of these. 
So let's try the American Nightmare Code Rhodes first of all. It does put him to level 99. And Drew McIntyre, is that going to be enough? And there we go, finally on maximum level. I'm going to screenshot that, that will be the thumbnail. And there you can see, in order, from weakest to strongest, power is 1074, toughness is 1096, charisma is 1212, but speed is the absolute, the absolute largest and strongest at 1316. And yes, that is a 1316. I tell you what, son. There we go. That is the number, that is the ranked 812 Seth freaking Rollins right there. And he is still weaker than our, uh, our deadline, Ilya Dragunov, which seems a little bit crazy. Uh, but we do have something that we can maybe help. We got these Tundra cards. So we're going to put, go ahead and put the knee pads on Seth Rollins. Oh, that does make him bypass Ilya. And once he gets his 100 games, we'll see whereabouts he stands there as well. So he's he's finally now into my top four, at least. So that is a good, a good level shout. And we also have a pro Akira Torizawa that we need to train up as well. And if we go into combinables, you can see there that I've got a pro Akira Torizawa to make and a pro Maxine Dupree as well. Well, of course, we also have a few supports that we can um, we can max out in pro as well. And we also got a Christmas Otis. So I think we've actually got one of each of the Christmas Tundra cards, which is absolutely crazy. Also coming out very very soon is going to be a CM Punk card finally finally debuting into WWE Supercard and he is going to be a collectible which is going to be a complete pain because he will be out with the point that I am over in Japan so I'm not sure what my chances are of actually getting Mr. C Montgomery Punk however if it is possible for me to do so from the hotel room, then I will most certainly try to do it. But there we are, folks. That is going to be it for this little video. I'm going to continue playing a little bit more of this to try and help out the team to get big old Tundra Kofi Kingston over here. And that uh, will be it. And then I'm flying off to Japan. So <laughs> I will be off for a little while. And I will see you all when I get back. But that's going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.